Hi and welcome to our Canada channel. My name is Oliver and this tutorial is going to be about our jet roll system. This video is segmented in two parts. The first one will be about the jet roll itself, specs and all. And the second part will be about the accessories that goes on the jet roll. If you don't want to watch the whole video, you can take a look at the description below. I've put links and you can jump straight to the part that you want to see. Now let's begin with the first part, which is the jet roll itself. The jet roll is a big module of 350 pounds. It is 6 foot and 4 inches wide, 12 foot and 8 inches long, and have a height of 12 inches. The unit is foam filled, so it's impossible to sink. It has a maximum capacity of 1500 pounds, including personal watercraft, person and the gears. The jet roll is fully compatible with our Candoc G2 system. There are four threaded tabs in the front of the jet roll which can be attached to our cube using special connecting pins. The jet roll can be installed on a fixed dock, on a floating dock, or in a standalone configuration using four posts. All these four anchoring methods are covered in separate videos. Now let's talk about the accessories that goes on the jet roll. We have the wheels, the bow stop, hole caps, and the link kits. First, let's talk about the wheels. You will need to install the 12 wheels that came with your jet roll. Every wheel came with a stainless steel shaft and two nylon washer. The axle goes into the center of the wheel and one washer on each side. To install the wheel in the pocket, use a rubber mallet and hit the center of the wheel. Make sure that the small hole is facing the top. This will make the wheel removal easier if you ever need to change the wheel position. To take the wheel out, use a screwdriver and pull one side of the shaft. Once it's out of its notch, pull on the other side. So on our jet roll, there are lots of wheel pocket to accommodate uh, different bolt holes. We have tried many wheel setup, but the one shown in this video is a really good starting point. So we recommend using this one and if needed, make small adjustment. Put the wheels in a pocket like this. One, 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 two, three, and two. This setup will make a small cradle for the front of your PWC to sit in. Now let's take a look at the bow stop. This piece goes in the front of the jet roll and sits right on top of the venting plug. It comes with four stainless steel screws and washer, and you'll need an Allen key for the round head screws. The pre-installed stainless steel loop is to secure your personal watercraft. Make sure to use it and get the proper marine grade rope and carabiner. As for the hole cap, they go into the unused hole of the jet roll. We strongly recommend you use them because it makes the walking surface a whole lot safer. No tools are required. Just a kick and the cap fit right in place. And the last one is the link kit. This is used on a multiple jet roll setup and it links the jet rolls together. The kit comes with an upper link, a bottom link, and a pair of stainless steel rods. In order to install the link kit, you will need someone to stay on the top of the jet roll while someone is in the water for installing the brass nut. Start by placing the upper link on the top of the jet roll with the stainless steel rods and the washers. The person in the water will then place the bottom link the washers and two brass nuts. Once the link is firmly in place, we then put a second brass nut and this one will be used as a jam nut. So you will need to squeeze them against each other using a second wrench.
Please note that we use a brass nut so you don't have to put anti-seize grease on the stainless steel rods. But if you ever replace the brass nut with stainless steel ones, make sure to use proper grease. Okay, so that's it for this video guys, and I hope it will help you for the installation of your jet roll. Thanks for watching.